The default response to a social challenge in any game is not just to shoot them. We do not settle disputes in paper rock scissors with games of vampire. Fake eye spots on my helmets do not help intimidate the monster. If my personal carried firepower exceeds that of the battleship Texas, there is a problem. I cannot take the dementia, obsession, counting things if I'm not a Malkavian. On second thought, I can't take it even if I am a Malkavian. My character cannot have a noticeable impact, positive or negative, on a town's population. <laughs> Large dice are for rolling, not sound effects. Covering fire does not include nuclear weapons. I did not earn the bonus XP for a written background but just a summary of the plot to Dig Dug. While the party is off searching for secret doors, can position the slain orcs in compromising positions. In the middle of a black ops, can't reprogram the cleaning droids to wax the floors for 12 hours straight. I don't have to take a lower level bard adventuring as my opening act. Taking the orc warlord skull as a trophy is acceptable, not as a hand puppet. <laughs> Sending the villain a nymph stripper only works once. Somebody doesn't accidentally fall on two dozen shanks. The adventure wrap-up is the epilogue, not Miller time. Cannot challenge anyone to a dance-off to the death. Augment their psi means their mental powers, not their air pressure. Taking each class as I level in alphabetical order is forbidden. Even if the rules allow it, my paladin can't serve the god of obituaries. My sorcerer will not take a level in druid just to make it easier to get to the flammable stuff. If everybody in the room is in black leather, we're in the Thieves Guild, not a fetish club. Even if infinitely useful, absolute power over elastics is not an appropriate superpower. The backup trap handler is not the guy with the lowest intelligence. I cannot have bracers of Brachian until I tell the DM what Brachian really means. Elves do not respond to chainsaws the same way dogs react to vacuum cleaners. <laughs> My battle mech does not play Dixie every time I hit the jump jets. Even if the mage critically fumbles his stealth check, can't threaten to bleed him slow. Despite the song's claim, a pelvic thrust does not cause sanity loss. Even if we are in Sweden, I can't use one blanket seduction check on the entire crowd. I didn't accidentally forget to buy any skills. I will not run up my bar tab and then skip out leaving the DM super NPC to foot the bill. Overrunning a larger army is not a glorious victory if it happened at 3 AM and they were still in bed. I will stop reminding Elminster he's not as cool as Merlin, Gandalf, or that shape-changing wizard from Kroll. I cannot lure out the psycho killer into an ambush by having sex with another character. No paraphrasing the party leader's elaborate plan as, pick somebody you don't like and let them know it. Even if the rules allow it, I can't take the first armored division as an ally. Doesn't matter how high my influence is, I still can't make Karma Miranda Hatch part of the unit's dress code. In the middle of Black Ops, no inserting a memo into the target's computer, mandating clothing optional Mondays. Even if it would have immediately solved the last six adventures, I won't throw dynamite in every well I come across. No more tricking rookies into putting whoopee cushions on Lord Vader's throne. When handed deities and demigods and told to pick a god for my druid, I will skip right by the Cthulhu Mythos. It doesn't matter how high its hit points or damage reduction are, we aren't sending the dwarf into battle via catapult. As a matter of fact, Jeopardy does scream for telepaths. It's not a good idea to taunt Greek heroes with, who's your daddy? Doesn't matter if it's an anime-style game, I don't get a bonus to hit with eye pokes. Polymorph mother-in-law is not a real spell. The Cairn is not Disney World is just run by coyotes. The FBI tends to notice when people buy several miles of hamster tubing at once. Doesn't matter how practical, we aren't reanimating the dead dragon and having him haul that horde back for us. When plumbing the depths of depravity, I must remember to come up for air. Any superhero offensive to more than two major religions is vetoed. Even if I'm faced with yet another get of Fenris Lupris Aaron, I will not refer to him as Cliché Guevara. We will not take the dead dryad with us to use as kindling. I will not keep reincarnating that bugbear until he comes back as something we can actually eat. A funeral is not a proper place for setting new fashion trends. 
I will not disbelieve the magic mouth before he gives out the important plot information. Even if it is hours of entertainment, can't feed the red talon peanut butter. I will concede we're on a dungeon crawl and stop trying to talk to the monsters. Under religion I cannot put born again Klingon. I will not use undocumented zombie workers to help build my castle. Big B's offensive finger is not a real spell. Even if there is no alignment in Traveler, giving feuding TL-1 tribes TL-12 weapons and putting the results on pay-per-view is just wrong. My doctor's bag will contain more than just a bone saw and a bottle of whiskey. I do not put the cad in the decadent, nor the rave in depraved. Even if it's catchy, I don't have to yell my battle cry every time I roll to attack. We can't all play bards just to relive our favorite spinal tap moments. I cannot have a gun with an area effect larger than its range. Richard Simmons is not an appropriate role model for a git of Fenris. I will not use my vast personal knowledge of Dublin, Texas to get an unfair advantage in the campaign. My halfling cannot take the flaw, obsession, ring of invisibility. Any gun that sets off the metal detector before even pass through it is vetoed. I will not combine thermographic sights and a gun that can shoot through walls. It makes Black Ops too easy. After cleansing out Ravenloft, when it's my turn to pick treasure, can't call dibs on the castle. If my superhero has a healing factor, claws, combat sense, and longevity, he can't take the flaw total pacifist. If I want to play a rampaging Nordic warrior and get handed a tree-hugging elf hippie instead, I can't play her like a rampaging Nordic warrior. Even if I'm playing a chick, I can't spend all my starting cash on shoes. Ribs in the time-space continuum are not for my personal amusement. Buying a bigger gun does not restore sanity. Searching the dead PC for spell components is okay, using him for spell components is not. Any character that can run the two-minute mile is vetoed. I will not convince the party to name all the characters the same thing. I do not need to see proof of insurance before making a medtech roll. Customs doesn't care what my charisma bonus is. Halflings do not store food in their cheeks for winter. <laughs> elves are not deciduous. Despite evidence of the contrary, half-elves do not automatically go both ways. Breast-enhancing spells gain no benefit from meta-magic feats. I will not try to regain sanity by nailing the reporter chick in public. Dwarves do not get roto-rooters with racial weapons. I will not brag too loudly I'm the real reason behind the sinking of the Titanic. Cultists tend to notice that we replace their summoning ritual with jitterbug instructions. Invisibility is all or nothing, can't just target their clothes. I can't just keep buying rounds of drinks until everybody passes out so I can rob them. I will not miss the final epic battle just because I crit my seduction check. Polish is not a sub-dialect of Gnomish. Any action causing the power gamer to storm off while actually appreciated is frowned upon. Healing people or other face gives a penalty in Deadlands, not Serenity. I will not have the architect build my castle using a hexadecimal base to screw with the power gamer. <laughs>